the nearest that I can explain to you is kung baga germs ito ger the uh, antibiotic kills the bacteria but the antibiotic cannot harm a virus or a virus again Aside from the virus thing, President Duterte has actually explained it well. But if you want to know more about the difference between germs, bacteria, and a virus, you should keep on watching till the end. Did you know that you're making history by watching this video? Because this is the first ever video, Trivi Trivia Channel. Really? I know, I'm selling it way too much. Please don't hate me. Because of the pandemic, viruses are really popular now. So, I thought why not try their popularity and make a video about them, including the other gangs of the microorganic world. Okay kids, sit back, relax, and enjoy learning the difference between germs, bacteria, and virus. The word germ came from the Latin word germen. Not German. It's M E N German. So it means a lot of male Germans? Nope. German translates to a seed, a sprout, or a bud. In the world of biology, a germ is most commonly known as a pathogen, which means it is anything that can cause a disease. Bacteria is a plural of the Latin word bacterium, which originated from the Greek word. There you go, the Greek word bacterion, meaning a small stick, a staff, or a cane, since the first discovered bacteria have the same shape. Virus, on the other hand, did not change from its original form and spelling. It came from a Latin word which means venom or a poisonous liquid. How about their shapes and sizes? Bacteria is like a giant if you compare them to viruses, but both of them are microorganisms which means we cannot see them using our naked eye. The size of bacteria averages from 0.2 to 2 micrometers in diameter, although there are some bacteria that are much bigger which ranges from 1 to 10 micrometers, while an average virus has a size between 20 to 400 nanometers and some giant viruses can go up to a maximum of 1,400 nanometers or 1.4 micrometers, which is already on the size range of a bacteria. To put it into a perspective, on average, if you take a single grain of rice, then you slice it into 1,200 pieces, one piece of that slice will be equal to the average size of a single bacteria. For a bigger view, let's say you turn that single grain of rice into as big as Mount Apo, the tallest mountain in the Philippines, the bacteria would be just the length of an average size tiger. And when you slice a single bacteria into 20 pieces, a single slice of that will be the average size of a virus. If you take an average one-story house as the bacteria, the virus would be equal to a standard size volleyball. That's how small they are. Although bacteria is mostly represented as a rod shape and virus as a spear, they actually come in many shapes. They both have spiral shapes, round and elongated shapes. But on my opinion, the virus has more interesting unique shapes like the disco mirror ball shape or what is called icosahedral. It looks round but it's actually made up of many flat surfaces to form a near spherical shape. Like I said, mirror ball, right? And then, there 
there's the complex type of virus, and I don't even know what shape this is. An earth invading alien robot shape, maybe? Oops, you will need to wait for the next part of the video for this one, along with more other interesting topics, maybe a week or two from now. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, click the thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't, that's okay, and do hit me up in the comment for any mistakes I've mentioned here, or any topics that you'd want to be featured in the channel. Nelasuj for watching. Novaya.